Good day commanders, this is a direct video about how to enable ED Copilot or any other third party tool for Elite Dangerous as an overlay in VR. Let's start it. You can see here I have my desktop. I'm not gonna go through the basics. Of course that you need an open eboard and of course that you need a ED Copilot or any other third party tool for Elite. As you can see I'm already having here 490 subscribers from the first 500 so i'm pretty close to this number and i'm asking you it helps me a lot to subscribe to my channel if you like this or any other content that i do here once you have ed copilot installed and open eboard installed we can go on and we can go on set and set it up. Let's start uh, Elite Dangerous in VR. So first thing uh, for me, I'm starting Mixed Reality because I'm with uh, Reverb G2. After that, uh, start Elite Dangerous, play and launch in Steam VR. Right, I have to confess, uh, I have OpenXR installed. My Steam VR is not running because I switched it over to OpenXR. With the Steam VR, it should be the same because Steam VR is just an overlay on which the game is working. Lee Dangerous has just started in VR and I can't see the menu. Oh, how it got down there. Center the view and hit continue and get into solo play let it load i'm on a planet here doing some exo right so as you can see this is my cockpit but i don't know if you can see that from the vr perspective uh, let me just put this helmet down here headset all right and get the obs out so now what you see now is the desktop so you don't see the vr so i have to switch to vr open vr capture let's see yes so now actually you see in my vr helmet so the vr signal i will switch between desktop signal and vr signal and i will tell you when so you know what you see all right so uh, elite is now started and the vr environment is started show you the desktop i need to start ed copilot in my case this is my third party tool that i Starting use for ED exobiology process. please stand by all right the ed copilot process is starting i can hear it in my headset Now I'm waiting for it to boot to start. Good afternoon, system load in progress. Please hold for final initialization. We have some setup tasks outstanding. Check the warning messages in the voice log. Now you can see also in the copilot. Three hours and 34 minutes ago at 9:10. Let's wait till she shut up. Startup sequence is complete. What's it going to be today? Today is going to be the copilot in overlay Thanks mode in so VR. All right, so this is on the desktop. Now let me switch it to VR signal. Now the desktop is stopped. As you can see, there is no ED Copilot. Nowhere. No ED Copilot in VR. Because it's on the desktop, you can't see it. And I even can't see it in VR. Right, so this is the purpose of this video. To get ED Copilot inside our VR helmet. And pretty nice too. Stop the VR signal getting back to desktop. The next thing I need to start, let me minimize this, is the open kneeboard. Let's see, open, open kneeboard. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it. All right, so this is open kneeboard. Now this is everything you need to have started, installed. So of course the game and start your VR. So you have Elite Dangerous running in VR, right? This is step one. Step two, start your third party program which in my case is ED Copilot, then start Open Kneeboard. I will put links for ED Copilot and for Open Kneeboard into the description. If you want to download it, you can download it and install it. Now we're gonna bring ED Copilot into Open Kneeboard. Let's press, I think, Settings and Tabs. 
and from tabs this is the control panel in which you fiddle with things you can bring loads of things with open keyboard in your in your vr environment even in other games like iRacing or dcs you press add tab and from here as you can see this is made actually for dcs so there's many dcs stuff but you also have web dashboard you have uh, window capture uh, web dashboard dashboard you can use that for uh, live chat if you like to stream stuff so you can stream in vr and you can see chat in vr we select window capture window capture with window capture selected we search for edico pilot which is nowhere to be seen as i can see steam open eboard pop-up host which open eboard OBS, Elite Launcher, Elite Dangerous, and there is no ED Copilot. All right, let's see where is ED Copilot. Uh, click information eventually. Let's go on biological. So ED Copilot is here. The window is here. You also can see it on the desktop. All right, let's try it once again. Add a tab. That will be window capture. And here is ED Copilot. So this time, give it... Be a little patient, fiddle with it. You see there are glitches, but the ED Copilot has appeared and is here. And we click capture this window. Your tab must appear here up on the first, on the first position. Go to settings. Let's see what kind of settings here we have here. We have the name here. You can change this if you, if you want. ED blah 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 copilot. Copilot. The entire window is captured. We're not interested in that. We need only the middle of the window. So we need, we don't need the margins of it to see them in VR. We will tick this. The real mouse cursor is not visible in the tab. We will make it visible so you can click on your overlay. So you can change from discovery uh, estimates and uh, biologicals and everything what you need. So important thing. You have the power to use your mouse in VR on the overlay, specifically on that area. What you see right now is the desktop. So this is not the VR signal. I'm switching on VR signal right now. So it should be visible. Look, it's here. I can see it. Actually, I erased it because I had it on. So this was my position for the ED Copilot. Actually, a little bit to the left. But I will show you how to move the window too. Yeah, don't forget this. Don't minimize your your ED Copilot or your third-party program window. Leave it maximized. Don't minimize it. Just click on your uh, VR display. It's important. See, now I have my helmet on. See, now it's coming up. When I'm looking at the left panel, right panel and up to chat, down. And when I'm looking diagonally to the right, the ED Copilot is coming up. Going back to open keyboard, I have to switch to the desktop mode so you can see that. This is ED Copilot and it's maximized, it's not minimized. You can minimize this open keyboard after you set, set your things, right? Commander, set it up. I've decided to start a space band. I'll be All on the right, space so, drums and you can be on the uh, space ED, gazoo. just leave with your space band, space shit. All right, we click on settings and going into virtual reality tab. Yeah, so you go to settings and virtual reality tab. From here, you set your position and your size of your overlay. And we have here the positioning. We have to recenter. So first, before moving or resizing, you have to recenter. You put your helmet on, keep it on your center and recenter your image. I'll recenter it from here with the mouse. It is recentered, and now I have access to vertical distance, left to right position. Keep this in mind. I, I should move now these three options. So vertical distance, left to right position, and forward position, right? Now I'm changing, so you can see how I'm moving this, inside VR, okay? So vertical distance, let me put my helmet on and click see it's moving downwards okay if i'm pressing the other arrow it's moving upwards right okay coming 
to left to right position. It's moving right. And now it's moving left. Okay. Other settings. Forward position. See, it's going more in depth. And now it's coming closer to me. All right. Let's move it more in depth. Okay. So take into the consideration, as you can see now, the open knee board or your, your third party tool is quite minimized and it's also transparent in that corner down to the right. So you can do it like that too. Right? Set your position there. Okay. Or, and you can, you can tick these settings at the moment you're looking at it. So it pop up into your eyes. See it like this like all other panels, all right? I'm show you how, all right? Pitch in degrees, let's see, other option. This is the pitch in degrees, see? It's rotating, roll in degrees, see? And yo in degrees. Perfect. Oh, well, I think this is perfect other settings let me get back to display capture so these were the settings that i fiddled with right now with the vertical distance left to right forward pitch in degrees and rolling degrees and yawn degrees all okay? right in game user interface header footer and bookmarks are cropped if i tick this they will be not cropped right so i don't if you want your ticket, you will see. This is exactly what I was I talking about. Yeah, deep. this is the Would zoom. Like if I tick it well. off, if I tick it off, I'm going back to VR. It should not work anymore. Yeah, see? It's not coming up anymore. So this is the thing that makes your overlay pop into your eyes. Right, going back. I switched it back. Let's see. Yeah, and now it's working. Uh showing you on the desktop mode this is that uh, setting what i'm talking about and of course the opacity the opacity uh i will fiddle with this right now so switching to vr display all right let's see opacity if i take this down see it's more transparent i can't see almost nothing move it back fully opaque right and this other one is when not looking at the kneeboard. So the smaller version of the third party program or ED Copilot or what are you using? Yes. So these are the settings of your overlay. So you can have any overlay, any window actually, not just uh, ED Copilot or I don't know, Explorer body or what are you using? You can put there the browser, you can put there, I don't know, Chrome, and I don't know, put a YouTube video, you can see the tutorial real time inside your ship. If you want, you can do that, right? With ED Copilot, you can also listen to music while you can put music there, but in the ED Copilot, not uh, in the open keyboard as an overlay. You can use that too for that purpose. All right, I hope I was pretty clear. Thank you so much for watching and for having patience. And I hope you succeed and I hope everything will be all right for you. And this is Vince. Till the next one. Ciao.